about 20 years ago, I was the 11th richest man in the world. I had it all. Gold. Jewels. A dozen mansions. There's one of my one of my homes there. I'm sure you like that. Had a small army of servants, a team of bodyguards, private lake, swimming pool, tennis courts, basketball courts. 300 seat underground home cinema. Monday car. Yeah? Tuesday car. Get the picture? What else? Oh, yeah. Private jet. Luxury super yacht. Private island. You know, you fancy going away at the weekend. Celebrity parties. That I don't, I was, I'm just hiding behind that, that big Oscar statue. You can't quite see me, but I was there. I had it all. Or did I? You see, no matter how many cars, castles, or Rolex watches I bought, it never felt like enough. Deep down... I wasn't actually happy. Why not? Even with all that stuff. I suppose I wasn't really able to value and enjoy the little things, the little moments, the ones that really matter. Like this. What's so special about a glass of water, you ask? Well, I found out that around one quarter of the world's population lack access to safe, readily available water at home. That's over one billion people. Which is something to think about whenever you turn on a tap. Also, did you know that around half of the world also live below the poverty line, having to survive on less than two pounds a day? These facts really had a big impact on my thinking and attitude to material possessions. If you can't truly appreciate the simple things, then what's the point? Especially when so many have so little. You may have heard of this book, which I'm going to show you. You may have seen it before, another high quality assembly production. It's called The Boy, The Mole, The Fox and the Horse by Charles Mackesay, and it's one of my absolute favorites. I'd like to share a page with you, if I may. And on this page, the mole asks, is your glass half empty or half full? And the boy replies, I think I'm grateful to have a glass. You see, I had countless riches. Countless. But without having a sense of thankfulness and gratitude for the real treasure. The real treasure? What's he talking about? The real treasure. You know, my family, my real friends, sunshine after the rain, birdsong in the morning, the NHS, free education, living in a democracy where we have our rights. This is the real wealth, the real bling. Don't need them. Don't need them. Don't need them. Don't need them at all. Ah, stop. Get me out of there. I'm okay. So 
since then, I'm no longer the 11th richest man in the world. I'm not even the top 11 million. Forbes doesn't call anymore, and neither do my accountants. I gave away almost all of my money to build hospitals around the world. And instead of trying to have a career just making money, as much money as possible, I decided to try and make a real difference. So now, I'm a primary school teacher at a place in Manchester. You may have heard of it, Acacius. I drive a second-hand Ford and live in a small semi. But the thing, my friends, is this. I now feel like I'm truly the richest man in the world, honestly. Every day, I, well, as often as I can, I try to think of all the positives that are going well for me in that moment. I try to think of them as five gold bars of gratitude. And I write them down in my journal. Just a simple little book. You could easily get one, easily make one. Okay, just a little book. My gratitude journal. So I try and think about what's going well for me, like right now, in that moment. You should try it. There's a lot of good things going on in your life. Try it when you're feeling a bit down, a bit blue. That's when it could really help. And in doing that over and over and over again for the last 20 years, I've learned something truly valuable. That gratitude is gold. Have a healthy, grateful 2021.